welcome back to the Mr. Brad Warden Show. And it's challenge night. We have another challenge. So I ordered some goodies, some challenge goodies. And they got lost in the crazy polar vortex and snowstorm because it was supposed to be on here Saturday. And I was so looking forward to it. And then said Monday and it never showed up. And finally today, when I got home, it was here waiting for me on the front porch of my vortex and it survived the freezing cold, frigid, minus zero temperature here. I think it was more, so, than, it was more than minus zero. It was like negative 28 with the wind chill. <laughs> well, with the wind chill. I think by the end of the day it was still negative though. And one of the items I got in my package was one that I'm looking forward to. It's Mad Bull Cow Butterscotch Bark. So Uncle Bull Cow decided to give his hand test in the League of Fire <laughs> Challenges. This one's also sponsored by Harvest 912. By the way. And Mad Cow. I've been eyeing that up all day. That looks so delicious. And the camera person might just steal it and do this challenge right now because she's been eyeing it up ever since she saw it and still giving it some VDIs here. But I said you better not because on the back here, I'm looking at it, it has Caramel Primatale, Chocolate Seven Pop Primo, Death mm. Spiral, and Peach Reaper Peppers in it. Now it looks delicious, deceivingly delicious, but with those peppers in it, it may be pretty brutal of a ride. So what it is, is it's butterscotch bark. It's like a toffee on the bottom, it looks like. So two things I have to do. Um, read the challenge rules, which came from Mad Cow here. The crazy Maddie's Mad Cow. <laughs> and the League of Fire disclaimer. <laughs> so I'll do the disclaimer first. <laughs> I'm Mr. Brad Warren of 18 years of age of sound mind and have read and understood Hot Sauce Products Disclaimer on the League of Fire website. In summary, I accept the League of Fire, their manufacturers and suppliers will under no circumstances be responsible for, liable for, any claims of injury or damage arising from me consuming this product or multiple zero. I acknowledge and agree to this without question. Challenge rules. Mad Bull Cow Butterscotch Bar. League of Fire Challenge Rules. No food or drink during duration, as always. Video must stay on, no edits. Remain on camera the whole time. Read the disclaimer, which I already have. Bark must be open from sealed package and remain on screen until fully consumed. Bark must be chewed, not swallowed whole. That'd be kind of bad to swallow this whole. After fully consuming, show an empty mouth and four minute afterburn. Here's a new one. You may not pick Toffee bites out your teeth during the four minute burn oh, time. Oh, wow. Just sometimes you want to pick it out a little bit, but you can't even do the picking this time. After four minutes, you've completed the challenge, and then bonus, uh, you can go on. Once you do two extra packs, you get two bonus points. But I only have one pack, so. Then I think I'd have a hard time eating that because I don't like stuff in my teeth. Well, anytime you get that toffee or butterscotch or peanut brittle type stuff, you can get it in your teeth. But it looks good. It's got cocoa powder, vanilla in there, um, natural flavors, molasses cream, and some salt. But <coughs> the peppers, again, are brutal. <coughs> Primatelli, Seven Pop Primo, Despite, and Peach Reaper. So you're saying it's like a siren. So it looks beautiful, deceivingly, deceivingly beautiful, deceivingly but delicious. deadly. So we'll see how this is, how Harvest 912 and Uncle Volk, how it did on making these. Yeah. That's how Maddie made them. Well, Maddie Mad Cow and Harvest 912 is the same thing. Oh. So the company is Harvest 912, okay. and Maddie Mad Cow is the, the offshoot that makes the spicy... Um, version. Oh, these look beautiful. Look at this. Oh, can I get look a close that. up of that? Oh my goodness. Oh, and the package. I is want to eat that here. so bad. Empty package. And that's what I get. Two oh, nice so looking yummy. pieces of candy. Looks like candy. But if it wasn't, candy. can you make some that aren't hot or only mediumly she hot, might. like mildly hot, and they send it, and and send it my way? To. I would totally do that challenge. And I like butterscotch. My most salivating just at the If it was of a it. mild heat, I would actually probably would do this challenge. But will it be burning afterward? It's hard to say. We'll okay. find out in just one tick. 
All right, and then the four minute after burn, I believe, is set for when I'm done. All right, here we go. Enjoy and savor each bite, but remember not to get it out of your teeth. It's hot right away. <clears throat> the flavor is good. The chocolate part on the bottom, maybe it's a little tad on the dark side. Mm. But not too bad. The flavor on top is delicious. You know, always pick out that dark chocolate. It does look a little bit dark, though. So not on the dark side, I'll slightly. Go, maybe. Slightly. But not overly overwhelmingly dark to the point where it's bothering me tons. What's the top like? I mean... Delicious. See, I don't know if the peppers are just in the chocolate part because that's gritty and I can't taste a lot in the toffee. So I'm almost interested just to take a little bit off the top just to see if that's hot too or if it's just that bottom part. That's hot too. <laughs> it's all hot. <clears throat> this is nice. The flavor reminds me. What does it remind me of? There was another League of Fire chocolate this reminds me of, but. You're smacking your lips. Sorry. It's chewy. It's toffee and chocolate. And what can you do? But it's good. It reminds me of something. Toffee is. Oh. Um, what was the other toffee challenge? I think they should come up with a coffee toffee. How <clears throat> dare you? A dark chocolate coffee toffee. <clears throat> this is good though. It's such a good creep for your silly hide. Would I be able to eat it? Mm -mm. 10 out of 10 average person. Right by now, my heat level is probably like 1 to 2 ish for mm -hmm. chili head. <clears throat> but building a little bit, yep. So if I ate it, I'd be like choo choo. Mm -hmm. okay. Can you taste the Reaper? I can taste pepper. Not sure which one specifically. Not really overwhelming a Reaper flavor. I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of peppers in here. Sorry for my chewiness. Yeah, you're very noisy. <laughs> manners, Mr. Warden, manners. The only way to have good manners is to chew with my mouth shut, but then I can't commentate. But I guess I could do it in a four minute after burn. Mm. Finger licking. Mm. Delicious. This is probably one of the better tasting League of Fire challenges. Well, maybe it's similar to the other Mad Cow on the, um, what was it? Maddie's Brownie? The Toffee one? Mad Cow on... I don't know, is there a Toffee one? Oh! No. It reminds me of the, uh, Peppermint Bark one. Although Peppermint was really pepperminty. Like or, yes, the consistency. Like the plate. But, no, it, the flavor reminds me of another one, too. Oh, I missed a piece. Let me write these through the afterburner. No digging it out of your teeth. No. Yep. And honestly, it wasn't as sticky. After it said the no digging it out of your teeth, it wasn't as sticky as I thought it was going to be either. 
I mean, it's a little stuck in my teeth here and there, but it's not, like, overwhelmingly sticky. Not like the, um, peanut brutal challenge. Oh, if you've ever done that, that's just coated all over, like, stuck everywhere. This one's really good, though. Like... Like, if you had to give it a scale of 1 through 10 for... Like, one being wise One being terrible, 10 being, the like, really great. What would you give it? All right, so let's do the the famed heat scale first. Average person's gonna get to a ton. Um, probably at like about a two-ish myself, like a chili head, okay. two, two and a half maybe. Say average chili head would be two to three. So that's a pretty solid challenge. I mean, it's pretty solid. It's not. It's not one of those scary hot ones, mm. but for three points, I mean, it's solid. I would say it's probably pointed appropriately. Um. Flavor-wise, um, it was good. It was one of the better flavored challenges. Um, if I got another one, I definitely would do it again. Possibly, I mean, double would be possible. I'll, I'll see, like, uh, multiple, two. I'll see how this one sits in my stomach. Up north in my mouth area, challenges haven't bothered me too bad, but my stomach area it's always hit or miss I haven't had one burn me really bad for a while but we'll see I did eat it on a full stomach this evening so hopefully not too bad there so again mad bull cow butterscotch bar it's got that chocolate on bottom and then that um toffee and like a white almost like a white <laughs> chocolate not sure exactly what it was meant to be, like a creamed white. Kind of candy on top with some toffee nougat on top. Just delicious. Looked delicious and for a chili head tasted delicious. Um, for a challenge, flavor wise, I'd put it up there at one of the top ones. I'd say eight or nine flavor wise for a challenge as far as it goes, which is really good. So again, this one, I uh, got a little time left. So Mad Bull Cow, kind of sponsored by Uncle Bull Cow, if you've never seen his channel. Does a lot of hot pepper growing, eating some hot peppers, some challenges. And then um, Harvest 912 does donation, helps people as far as shoes. And then uh, Mad Cow is kind of their offshoot branch that does these hot and spicy products. Some stuff not as hot. I sell some hot sauces and some other stuff not as hot, and then they have some challenge grade products. They probably sell like, I think like five of them now. Oh wow. I think like four or five, four or five. Mm -hmm. So they got the peppermint, the little toffee nougat, um, or nut pieces. I don't know if those are toffee or nuts, I can't remember. I did those, the um, butterscotch bark. Oh, the new one that I got, Death by Chocolate. Ooh, Death try by that Chocolate. One. That, sounds, that one looks kind of scary. It might be one other one I'm forgetting, but it's a good company. Good support. League of Fire Challenge, one of the newer ones. I think they should do Death by Hot Sauce and combine a bunch of different hot sauces together. <laughs> <laughs> so I made it. Heat level has come back down pretty good. I'm still sitting at about a one for a chili head. Not bad at all. Um, but yeah, a good challenge. A good tasty one. Mm -hmm. One of the better flavored ones. So check it out. Obviously, if you're not a chili head, you probably don't want to do it. Like the camera person was eyeing it up. Mm, it probably was. wouldn't be good. Probably after one bite, you'd be probably regretting it a little bit. It so, looked really good though. Yeah, it was tasty. So thank you for making this one. It was delicious. Hope you enjoy out at home. And we'll see you next time on the Mr. Brad Warden Show.